फाइव सेकेंड्स Presiding over the May Day celebrations, the Prime Minister of India said, "Comrades, May Day is the day that is dedicated throughout the world to those who work. My greetings to you who have gathered here in lakhs today. May Day was first celebrated to pay homage to the tiling workers, those who work with their muscles, with the sweat of the brow, and who build strength in our society, in our country, in humanity." we are socialists our socialism is our own suited to our needs and our circumstances you all know that it is enshrined in our constitution you are aware that it is an indian socialism based on understanding and appreciation of all the realities of the country our socialism is not a borrowed one we always accept and absorb good ideas wherever they come from without losing our indian character our socialism aims at removing poverty it is gratifying to note that it aims at ensuring justice to those working in industries in urban areas those working in the rural areas and in the unorganized sector it looks after those sections of society who suffer from discrimination and oppression you are all aware that it seeks to give equal opportunities to women who are half of our productive force our socialism works at fighting the vested interests in order to achieve the uplift and well being of the deprived it is for independent thinking whatever the pressure that may come under way from the powerful it is so that our economic independence can be improved and achieved i am sure that the goals of our plan are food work and productivity in the last 2 years we have concentrated on improving productivity and we have made substantial progress it is a matter of satisfaction for all in this connection i would like to thank our agriculturists and other working class by their work a new direction or a thrust has been given now the emphasis will shift to work for the removal of unemployment this is also our commitment in the plan in this direction we seek your cooperation and support you might have noticed that we had linked productivity and work we had linked them because only with higher production we can generate more work we must give more employment and better employment we must work harder but we must also work more efficiently so that we can produce more for the same amount of effort that we put in you all know only then we will be able to generate more work more work for your brother for your sister for your son for your daughter work for all must be our goal it must be our adventure while our freedom fighters won our political independence it is now for you for workers of india to win as our economic independence it is this that we must dedicate ourselves to on this important first day of may it is going to be no less a challenge than the struggle of political independence i think perhaps it is going to be even more difficult to face this challenge the workers of india must unite and must rise if india is to remain independent we must overcome this challenge we cannot allow our country to be pushed under by foreign borrowing we must find the resources for development from within our country if we have to stand independent and proud it cannot be by taking easy route but it can only be by blood sweat and tears we must be ready to make such a sacrifice to win the economic independence that is india's aim now i would like to refer to the role of public sector undertakings it is through the public sector that we have opened up background areas in the country it is through the public sector that we have developed a new force in the country it is through the public sector that we have established linkages with technological development in other parts of the world it is only because we have been able to place the public sector at the commanding heights of our economy that india is economically strong and able to face the challenges that we are called upon to face we have shown in these two years that we can make our public sector efficient some of our public sector units are efficient as any public sector plants 
in the world or any private sector plants